Hey everyone, Sam here. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. So, the truth about selling your art in a gallery. Now, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while will know that I mostly make painting tutorial videos, especially painting landscapes and seascapes, as that's my favourite subject to paint. But I thought I'd also make some videos on the art business side of things, or the artist life. Maybe we can discuss that, and that might be something you'd be interested in. So in this video, I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts about selling artwork through a gallery based off my own experiences and discuss the pros and cons of selling your work through a gallery. I'll also share with you some ideas of other ways you can make money from your art that's not just selling in an art gallery. Now for those of you that are watching this channel, many of you are probably painting purely for the joy of painting and you just want to improve your painting skills and you do it for relaxation and that's absolutely awesome, that's why you should be painting but there might also be some of you that your artwork's improving and you want to start thinking about selling some of your paintings or perhaps creating a side hustle from your art as well as your normal job or perhaps you want to work towards being a full-time artist. So I hope I can share with you some thoughts here that might be useful to you based off my own experiences of selling artwork through a gallery and just other things about the art business in general. Now just before we start the video I'd like to quickly tell you about my Patreon channel. Each month I upload a full length painting tutorial video plus reference photos, lesson notes, also other videos and bonus videos, loads of content, all for just $5 a month and I've put the link in the description box below. So let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. So the truth about selling your art in galleries. Now I thought I'd film this outside just because it can get a bit noisy in my house. I have a three year old son and he's super high energy right now and him running around upstairs it would have just been picked up on the camera. So I thought why not film it on the beach? I'm on this beautiful beach in northern New Zealand not far away from where I live and actually quite often do a lot of my video editing in the car with this beautiful sea view. So let's talk about selling artwork in galleries. Now, for me, galleries, they can be good, but for me, they're really not a major part of my art business. And I've kind of got mixed feelings on galleries. I think they can be a good thing, but I've also had some really bad experiences with art galleries. Now, I'm only in one main gallery in New Zealand, and I've been there probably for about 11 or 12 years, and it was actually the first gallery I got into, but. I've had a pretty good working relationship with the art gallery owner and he has got me a lot of art sales. So I still continue to send my work down there to Wellington where the gallery is based. But let me just give you my thoughts on selling in art galleries. Galleries tend to take quite a lot of commission and here in New Zealand, most galleries will take between 30 and 45% commission. I've heard of galleries that take 50 or even higher than that, 50% even higher. And that's a lot. So just say, for example, you'd spent ages painting an artwork and you decide to sell it in the gallery for a thousand dollars. Now let's say that gallery takes 40% commission. So you make the sale already, the gallery owner is going to take $400. So that leaves you $600 left. Now let's say that you've spent at least $100 on art materials and certainly the art materials I use are quite expensive. I paint on linen as well. Linen's much more expensive than canvas. But let's just say, for example, I've spent $100 just creating that painting, buying the canvas in the first place and my paints, my brushes. So that's $500. And then there's the income tax that you'd have to pay on it. So income tax from $600 on, let's say that's 20%. I'm not very good at math, but I'm guessing that's probably around $120. So from that, plus the $100 for the art materials and then the $400 the gallery's taken, you've probably got about $380 left. So when you actually see that, you think, oh, I'm selling my painting for $1,000, but in reality, you're getting $380 or less back for all that work you put in that can be quite a bitter pill to swallow. So that's something to think about. Another thing with art galleries, especially when you approach them, they can be quite intimidating places. And I've certainly found that as well. So if I'm gonna choose an art gallery, 
One of the things that I take in mind is where is the location of it? Is it a place where it's getting a lot of foot traffic, like maybe in the middle of a town or city, or is it on some back street somewhere where no one goes past and it's hardly getting any customers coming in? Then when I go into the gallery, I want to know how are they going to treat me? And when I go into a gallery that I've not been into before, usually I don't say anything about the fact that I'm an artist. I just want to see how they treat me, especially the way I'm dressed as well. Are they going to treat me just as they would treat anybody else or are they going to make some assumptions about me maybe i'm someone that doesn't have any money for example and is never going to buy anything and in which case they don't spend any time with me at all because if they're going to treat me that way then how are they going to treat other people that walked in because some for example buyers or even wealthy people you might not necessarily know that they've got money so i want to make sure with an art gallery that they're going to treat me with respect they're going to be nice to me friendly and make me feel comfortable in the art gallery because as i say art galleries can be intimidating places and i certainly have felt intimidated going into some art galleries so that's also something to keep in mind as well now let's talk about getting the artwork into the gallery so you approach the gallery owner you might not necessarily get in there or they might not be taking on new artists or your artwork might not fit that particular gallery. Don't be disheartened about it. The other thing is the reality that your artwork might not be up to scratch and that certainly happened to me a long time ago when I first tried to get into a gallery and the gallery owner was actually really good. She said you should be selling your paintings but you need to work on your techniques a bit more and uh, rather than take it to heart, because it can be very disappointing and disheartening, but I thought, no, I'll just carry on working on my craft and then try again. And that's the way to do it. So if you do get rejected from a gallery, don't take it to heart. Just either learn from the experience, just keep working on your craft, or the best way is find other avenues of being able to sell your artwork. And there's lots of ways you can do it. Now, even if you do get rejected from a gallery, it's honestly not the end of the world because we've got the internet now and it's actually never been easier for artists to make a living online from their art. I personally much prefer selling my art online because I get to keep all the money. It's certainly, say we take that thousand dollar painting, if I've not had to pay commission, then that's the extra $400 I got there. So in fact, in reality, it's $780 and that's much better. Another way you can sell your artwork instead of getting into galleries is to maybe sell your artwork in a cafe and I've certainly done this in the past. Cafes tend not to take anywhere near as much commission as art galleries do and I've definitely made sales in cafes. Also they're often places that a lot of people are going to go to and they'll be sitting in the cafe and Quite often people are going to the same cafe every day so they'll see your artwork on the wall and you might make a sale. Now in the town that I live in, or at least I live just outside of a town, but there's a cafe there where there's people that hang their artwork and I know one of the artists there that's literally making a living from selling his art in this cafe and they're just absolutely exquisite pieces. They're really good. I actually think he's underpriced them, but it just goes to show that you can make money from your art without necessarily being in an art gallery. So let me tell you about some of the other realities of selling your artwork through a gallery. There are a lot of sharks out there and a lot of dishonest gallery owners, unfortunately, and I've come across a few of them in my career as an artist. I'll give you an example. Years ago, I approached a gallery in Auckland in an affluent area of Auckland, which I thought was a good gallery. It was on a good main street with lots of traffic going past, nice window display. And I went in there and approached them and asked if I could display my art in their gallery and they agreed. So not long after I got the opportunity for a commission and I said to the gallery owner, look, I really want to make sure that I do a really good job of the artwork that I'm going to paint for your buyer. Can I have communication with them? Can I have access to their email address so I can communicate with them directly so that I can make sure that they're happy with the artwork that I'm going to paint for them? And I said, I will be upfront with everything that I do. I'll include you in all of my email communications. And they were happy with that. So I did that, I did the sketches for the buyer, then the color study, and then the final sketch, and then the final painting, sorry. 
they were really happy, happy customers. We made the sale, everything was cool. But then when it came to him paying me, I had to keep chasing him up to get the money and it was really frustrating. It just wasn't treating me with respect. And for me, that was an instant red flag. So I was just like, nah, I'm out. And when any gallery treats me like that, I just, I don't deal with them. So I walked in there and took my paintings out and never did business with him again. So you've got to watch out for gallery owners like that. Equally, as an artist, you want to treat the gallery owner with respect as well and make sure that you're open and transparent and honest with them as well. You want to work together. So that's something to keep in mind as well because if you've got a good working relationship with the gallery owner, like the one I've got where I sell in Wellington, they can generate a lot of sales for you. So another thing about selling your artwork in galleries is very often many galleries will have exhibitions from time to time and I've certainly had a few exhibitions. Sometimes they're good, sometimes you don't get any sales at all. Can be very frustrating if you don't get any art sales. And this is another reality of selling your artwork in a gallery because you could spend a lot of time painting lots of artworks to sell an exhibition and then on your opening night maybe there's not many people that come to it or you don't make any sales. That can be very frustrating. The other thing is as well with art galleries is very often they'll make you contribute to the wine and nibbles that they'll have there and that can be quite expensive. Some galleries will make you pay for all of it, some will make you pay for half of it. And I've noticed with some art exhibitions that you get the same group of people turning up that are there for the wine and cheese and don't really buy any artworks and that can be pretty frustrating as well. And certainly there are groups of people that go to these types of functions just for the free wine. In fact, years ago when I used to live in Wellington, there was a website that would tell you where every night where there was functions on around the city where you could rock in off the street and go and mingle and have free wine and cheese. And often art galleries were on that list as well. Now, so far we've talked about how much commission gallery owners take and choosing an art gallery, is it in a good location? Also, how do they treat you when they come in? But another thing to look at is what does the gallery itself look like? Is it nice and spacious and open with really nicely professionally displayed paintings or does it resemble a junk shop? And I'll give you an example. One of the galleries that I thought about seeing if I could approach in the South Island of New Zealand, it was very, very cluttered. I didn't like the feel of the gallery and I noticed a lot of the paintings were on the floor which really bothered me as well so that was another thing to think about. I also later found out from someone else that this gallery also takes 45% commission which is a lot and it's not even a kind of nice looking gallery so again you really need to think about the location, what is the feel of the gallery like, what's the owner like and is it someone that you can work with. Now when it comes to making money from your art as I say, the art gallery really isn't the be all and end all and for me it's a very small part of my art business. I, I don't want to have to rely on painting sales at all. So let's go back to making money from your art. Now as I say, you could be getting to the stage where you've been doing a lot of painting, your skill level is getting up to speed and you want to start thinking about selling your art. You're thinking about you want to take your art a bit more seriously and maybe either have it as a side hustle, make some extra sales, or perhaps you want to go part-time, be a part-time artist and part-time working another job, or aim towards being a full-time artist. So once you've been working on your craft, the next thing you'll want to do is get a website. In this day and age, it's never been easier to get a website. You don't even need to know how to code. And there's sites such as Squarespace or Portfolio Box, for example, where you can build a website through drag and drop and their plans, the money you have to pay for them are very cheap and competitive as well. So you don't even have to pay too much money to have a website. I actually have a website with both of these companies. My main website's with Squarespace, so I'm not sponsored by them or anything. And uh, the one I sell my art through, just, just my paintings I display is through Portfolio Box. So when you've got your website, make sure that it looks really nice and easy to navigate. You could even think about selling them and using e-commerce functions such as PayPal and Stripe where people can pay with a debit or credit card. And the other thing you'd want to do is also start promoting your art on social media. Also get an email list together as well. Start connect collecting email addresses so that you can communicate 
directly with your potential buyers. Now, I think the other thing to think about is what is the reason you're making art? Like for me, I wanna make art because it's purely about the joy of painting. I have to paint like I have to breathe. That's just the way I am. I've always loved landscape art ever since I was a child. And as I say, for me, it's purely about the joy of painting. I also love teaching others as well. It gives me great joy to see people enjoying my videos and seeing the improvements in their artwork or seeing the light bulb go off when they, you know, a concept of art theory, for example, which I try and infuse in my videos, you know, goes off in their head and they suddenly get it. That's, that's such an awesome feeling. I also couldn't care less either whether I'm a famous artist or whether I'm remembered when I'm dead. Like, it really doesn't bother me. I could not care less if I'm never remembered for being an artist when I'm dead. It doesn't bother me. However, I've met other artists where they're all about that artist lifestyle. They go to the art exhibitions, they mingle with, you know, uh, what's the word, influential people maybe, which also can be good. There's nothing wrong with that. I always feel a bit uncomfortable in art exhibitions in general. It's not really my scene. It's not to say that I don't go to art exhibitions now and again, but that kind of whole art scene is just not my thing. I just feel like I don't fit in with it personally. But as I say, there are artists out there where that artist lifestyle is their thing and they want to be remembered as being a great artist and they want to be remembered when they're dead. And that's cool. Now, as I say, there are many ways of making money from your art. For me personally, I really wanted to be a full-time artist. This is my life and I've been able to do it mainly through teaching and sharing my knowledge and I absolutely really enjoy doing it and it's very, very rewarding. There's other ways, selling prints, licensing your artwork. Now the internet's changing more than ever. There's things such as, you know, the crypto space, NFTs. I mean, there really is just an endless amount of ways you can make money from your work. So if you don't get into a gallery, then seriously, don't be disheartened at all. There's so many ways you can make money. So my final thoughts on selling artwork in a gallery. Art galleries can be good, but a lot of them are awful. They take massive high commission and you're also not their priority and that can be frustrating. Having said that, if you get to work with a good gallery owner, they can make you a lot of sales. So I'm not against art galleries at all, but I certainly don't make selling my artwork in galleries priority. I do think if you want to start selling your work that making a living through selling your artwork online is probably one of the best ways in this day and age to make money from your art. And as I say, focus on getting a good website and an email list where you can start communicating with your buyers directly. So I'd like to know, what are your thoughts on selling your art through galleries? Do you sell your work through galleries? Have you got any stories? Have you got any art gallery horror stories or any funny stories? If so, let me know in the description box below. I'd love to read them. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And just before you go, if you'd like to learn more about painting landscapes and seascapes, then check out the painting resources I have on my website. I've got a painting blog there with free written painting tutorials and reference photos that you can use. I've also got full length painting tutorial videos available for sale, and you can get instant access to all of those painting videos and more by subscribing to my Patreon channel for just $5 a month. Each month you get a full length painting tutorial video where I show you how to paint an artwork from start to finish, including how to mix all the colors, which I demonstrate on my palette. You also get access to all the previous videos as well. There's over two years worth of art videos on there. So it's like a landscape painting course. You also get reference photos, printable lesson notes as well. I'm also uploading extended time-lapse videos of my paintings and bonus content. And there's also access to the private Telegram group as well, all for just $5 a month. And I've put a link in the description box below. Now, I'm also giving away a free ebook on introduction to oil painting, and you can get this by subscribing to my email list, and I've put a link in the description box below. And lastly, I now have some NFTs available for sale, non-fungible tokens, which I've got available on my profile at crypto.com, and again, I've put the link in the description box below.
So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. Let me know if you'd like me to do more of these types of videos as well as the painting demonstrations, art business stuff, artist way of life, that kind of thing. I think it's really cool to talk about these kind of things. Anyway, I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.